let's hopefully not get stuck here. I'm uh, going to a lake. I knew this was here. It uh, hasn't been too bad in the past, but we'll see what it does. Gonna start floating the boat here pretty soon for fuck's sakes. Wow, that got fucking deep. Guess I should probably keep an ax or a saw in the truck, one of the two. Got this tree across the road here. Holy cow, a couple squirrels just scared the shit out of me. Well, we made it. No new lights on the dash. There's another tree up ahead of us. Just going over a culvert right now. Well, now I know I gotta start uh, carrying a saw in there. Should've went with the 14 inch lift, not the fucking eight inch. Cause I don't think we're driving over this one. <sighs> Fuck. thigh height decently big tree still attached at the stump a little on one side uh, let's see what I could do I just rammed her with the truck haven't got out to look at my bumper but uh probably don't want to I made it to the lake fuck yeah that is sick so I guess I messed up the wires on my 4x4 actuator coming in here gonna be a hell of a fucking time trying to get out of here with the boat on that's just launching and I fucking got stuck and had to fucking really hammer on it. Start off with this little spoon in the shallows, just casting at uh, rocky shoals and all that jazz. And then if not, we'll go deeper. I uh, threw a spoon around in the shallows a bit before I hit the river and come in here. Nothing. I'm marking fish down at 15 feet. I'm in 21 feet of water. They're suspended. I'm going to take my lead core rod and throw some lead core at them so I can get down there deep. Maybe do some crankbaits, but I'll probably start off with a spoon. Spoon's just always my freaking go to. So, lead core, it's basically just a lead center with dacker on around the outside. And uh, it's got different colors on the line. Each color is 30 feet. If you let 30 feet of that down, it will let out, uh, if you let out 30 feet, it'll travel down five. So I wanna be around 30, so I think I'm gonna go Six, six colors? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Math, you know? Not my, uh, not my strong shit. Marks. That's just freaking absolutely insane how many marks there are down there. And I'm not getting a single bite. They're suspended from almost 15 feet, sitting down to 45. Like, that's insane. We're hooked up. We're hooked up good. Oh yeah, buddy. That's a freaking pig. Look at that fish. Holy cow. It's a freaking football. He ripped.
ripped his mouth apart, but not his gill. I think he's gonna be okay. But holy cow, that's huge. I'm gonna let him go. Ten pounds? I don't know. I can't even begin to estimate that. I, I don't know. He was short, but he was just a freaking football. Wow. I wish he wouldn't have ripped his lip like that. Fuck. He was rolling in the net and my hook got caught in my net and then he rolled some more and he ripped it right out of his mouth. I'm let out to 136-ish feet. I'm just gonna plop that baby up there. And then I just wait for a hit. Fish on, baby. Twenty feet out plus leader. Feels like a good one. Leader. She's another good one. There's another good one. He's a uh, fatty, he's not very long, but that's okay. Another good fish. Let's uh let's get him back in the water. Oh man. That's a freaking It's not even a crazy fight. Like the first 3 seconds are a pretty good fight, but then they just come in pretty easy. But the rod it's so freaking the rod's so long. It's like it's just very heavy fight on your arms. Very heavy fight. It's not crazy tugging, it's just a heavy fight. And you could really lay the boots to him with that lead core and the thick leader and all that jazz. I don't like to pull him up too fast from 40 feet, but... Oh. I'm liking the lead core too. I didn't even catch a lake trout, I bought it last year. Didn't even catch a lake trout on it. Just didn't really use it. Caught a few bass on it, trolling for lake trout. Whatever. But uh... Yeah, let's slam some more fish. I don't know, maybe I'll take one home. We'll see, I don't wanna be here too much longer in case I get stuck pulling the truck out. Oh, that's a good one. Or I snagged it. One of the two. That's a good one. Oh God. That's a good one. He's not hooked very good. Get in my net. That is a fucking fish. I gotta get a measure on that fucker. Uh. Roughly 30 inches. <laughs> this is my personal best lake trout. Look at that. Look at that guy. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. He's a freaking jumbo. Wow. Woo. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. I put them up against this paddle with the measuring tape. 30 inches. 30 inches and fat. That's still what I'm rocking. Just that red and silver Williams wobbler. Oh. Fish on. <laughs> I was just going to say the average size in this lake is phenomenal. And just to end out the day, <laughs> we have a nice little guy. There he is. Let's get him back. <laughs> That's it, let's go home. Let's go see if we can get out of here without getting the truck super duper stuck without any cell service. Let's go. So there's a part of a lake, part of the lake that depth is about 20 feet in the max. And then there's a, this narrow system, which I'm entering right now, which brings us out into that part of the lake. But we're gonna go down the narrows and it gets pretty dicey. <laughs> It's, uh, I smacked a rock on the way in. It's just smoked a rock. Well guys, we made it out of there. I'm glad to say I caught my personal best lake trout today. I don't know a weight. I know he was 30 inches, but uh, he felt heavy. He was a little football for sure. No idea how heavy he was. Uh, yeah, I mean, my four by four decided to engage. I left it in four by, shut the truck off when fishing, came back, turned the truck on. It was in four by, that's nice. Wasn't hard launching the boat. Wasn't hard getting out of the trees. All that was good. And uh, thanks for watching another video if you made it this far. Uh, trying to get those subscribes up. I'm also trying to post more frequently. I know uh, it's a very sporadic, long time in between. I blame my country internet, but that's okay. See you guys next time.